So who knows? I mean, maybe they maybe that's a possibility. Ooh. Maybe that's a possibility. So let, let's let's get into the douchebag of the fucking night. Ugh. Ugh. Let's get into one of your favorite wrestlers, the one that you're so hyped for his um, return. Can I take that back? <laughs> you wouldn't know what you would do without this guy. You you probably wouldn't have continued watching wrestling. This guy we speak of is no other than the the liberal himself. <laughs> the best in the world? The best in the world, CM Punk. <clears throat> he had some um, not so... Nice words to say about Vince McMahon's retirement. Of course he did. What, the man that changed his fucking life? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if we um, scroll down here. Now, I haven't seen this. Okay. So I'm going to let you So let me, let me be the voice here. of the voiceless. <laughs> the voice of the voice of the voiceless. Let me pull it up back here. Is it the same thing here? Yeah. I, I think this is it, right? I was going to get it back up on my screen. Oh, okay, got you. By the way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, people. All right, so he said here, you think because McMahon tweeted, I'm retired, that he's not going to be hands-on? He's not going to run the show? Punk acts in response to the question to McMahon's retirement. Oh, great, hold on. I got to add here. Um, <laughs> Sure. We all are hopeful of a change, but I don't think the structure there, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't think the culture there changes at all. I think it is what it is. CM Punk compared the manner in which WWE handled recent walkouts of Sasha Banks and Naomi to that of Brock Lesnar. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> He said, Suck a dick. I'll Go put ahead. it to you like this. People are going to be real fucking mad about this, but fuck it, Punk said. Mercedes, Sasha Banks, and Trinity, Naomi, leave, and they announce on SmackDown that, gosh darn, we're so disappointed in them, and that really let our fans down. Brock Lesnar spills, comes Split, back. Splits. Oh, he splits. Comes back, obviously, and I think he worked the show, SmackDown. But where was Michael Cole saying, man, Brock Lesnar really let these fans down. I walked out. They went to TV. They called me a quitter. What's changed, Punk asked. <laughs> What's the difference? You're going to attack these poor two fucking women because <laughs> they kind of had enough. They, <laughs> they kind of had enough and <sighs> walked. Kind of had enough and walked. I, can, I, can, I, can we interrupt CM Punk? <laughs> Oh my god, I, there's so many things here to say. All right, first off, obviously Brock Lesnar is a is a fucking megastar compared to Sasha Banks, uh Mercedes and Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> you want to name drop like cuz you know them personally. Shut the fuck up. You, you call them by the names we know them as. Um and also, not to mention Brock Lesnar is a bigger star than CM Punk. Yeah. He went to UFC and actually won championship. <laughs> shh, oh, shh, sorry. Shh, sorry. Gosh. <laughs> You're going to get people mad again. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with him? This is that, this is that commie gobbledygook shit. <laughs> that we are, we're all equal. We're all the same. You're going to compare two. Oh. I'll, give the, I'll, give it, I'll give it to him. One at least main event woman. Compared to Brock Lesnar. <laughs> You're going to compare that. One was the frontier of woman <laughs> wrestling, Chris. Oh woman my diva God. wrestling. And let's let's not pretend that when he threatened to leave the first time, they didn't give him. You know, I, you know, they fucked up his run. I'll give him that. But let's not pretend they didn't give him the ball for a minute. So give him. They gave him a, a record breaking championship run. It's not act like he just left out of nowhere in the middle of a night before he was supposed to go on stage and just came back and was like, "How you doing?" My name is right. Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest, when CM Punk, when I found out he quit, I felt let down as a fan. I didn't feel let down really when Brock Lesnar quit. Because I'm like, alright, he didn't seem like a guy that gave a fuck about wrestling. I just enjoyed him while he lasted. And then he had a great UFC career. I could give a fuck where Naomi and 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 what, what's her name again? Sasha Banks fucking goes. <laughs> 
Who hey, cares? He also continued to say that they got bigger balls than everybody there. Who? Is that what he just said? Yeah, he said they got... I thought you were saying that. I was about no. to fucking throw something at you. <laughs> <laughs> he continues. He continues to say they got bigger Next balls than everybody. Next time say everybody. quote unquote. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh. So wait, he said they have bigger balls. Yeah, that- I go back a sentence. He said you're gonna attack these poor fucking women because they kind of had enough and walked. They got bigger balls than everybody else. So what changed? You know, there's nothing much that's changed. These people that talk about it, there's people that do it. <laughs> the people who lick boots and have the audacity to go and live live television and say that about those two women. <laughs> They're fucking cowards and bootlickers. This shit's ridiculous. <laughs> this, this is CM Punk. I just realized while you were reading, this is CM Punk projecting everything that he feels about him leaving. Why didn't they this do has it for Brock? To do with any of them? Why did, hey, he said it though. Why didn't they do it for Brock? They did it for me. You know. I don't know. It's none of my business. That's how he ends it. That's where he should have started it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! What a End quote. what a bitch! You were right when you told me about this. Yeah, disgusting. Disgusting. Shut the bro. fuck up, CM Punk. Ugh. What happened to you? I don't know, bro. Whatever. Anything for a hand clap. He's a fucking weirdo. What is it with like uh, when men get married? Some of them just lose their balls. Hey, I'm not yeah, saying yeah, everybody. Yeah, some of them. Some of them do. You're one of the few, actually. That, Thank you. Yeah. Some I of just, them just don't know what the fuck to do. It's uh, it's dude. called cheaper to keeper, cheaper to keeper. Those guys, <laughs> shut the fuck up, leave her. Literally, what is it? Cheaper to keeper. Throw some balls. How much leave fucking her. money do you have then? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, no, you're you're fucking cow. You're, you're lazy. Yes, you're spineless. You're lazy. You have low confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Misfit Ranks just said something. Punk sounds like a bitter ex-wife. Yeah. Yes. He sounds like someone that got benched. You know what he's really saying? If you read between the lines, why am I not Vince's favorite? That's really what if Vince. How, if you, how come I couldn't come back? That's what he really said. Right. <laughs> right. How come you let me out the door? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And also, like, people didn't really understand. Like, I understood once he told the story of why he quit, but we didn't understand it until he told the story. Had to tell his story in order for it to be told. But he left us sort of in the dark but for a while. But how dare WWE just go out and say, I'm a quitter? But you quit. But then there's stories of this, too, right? Where I could see this being the truth. And I've said this before. Is where they... Triple H and Vince and, and a lot of the WWE, you know, head of WWE claim that they would hear talks of CM Punk saying all this shit behind the scenes. And they would go to him and say, hey, listen, do you have, you know, issues? Like, is there anything going on? And he would go, no, everything's fine. And he would be passive aggressive and not passive aggressive. speak his mind. He also said when there, he, his whole gimmick, um, you know, the free, what was it? What was his gimmick? The, the uh, free, straight edge guy. Straight edge. Yeah. Triple H like hated it. Yeah. And was trying to like not have it happen. Um, he controlled it not happening on SmackDown, but he went to Raw and like dominated it on Raw. Mm. So it was always beef between them. Regardless, they never liked of, each other. Yeah, so. yeah. And Triple H should have lost to him. Yeah. When they had their match. Yeah. He totally should have. But I mean, you know, that's just what... like Triple H totally should have lost to Booker T. Yeah. Do you think Triple H has changed? No. That's what I'm saying. No? That's the part that's going to be... That's the con. But I think... I'm I'm going to say I think Triple H may have had some kind of change in terms of this. You got to remember, he... What the fuck are you smoking, bro? He that's so nice. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll tell you why. <laughs> McMahon Dynasty, baby. <laughs> no, um... He faced death. I think he faced death. And I think that changes a man. Shawn Michaels did too, and he's still a racist. No, nope, me, no, he didn't. He that was a drug, he drug the, induced death. He followed the white Jesus. I think Triple H 
has accepted that he can't wrestle anymore. So he doesn't. He's gonna have to fall back. He's gonna have to. He can't wrestle vicariously no live through other guys. Yeah, which won't be no black guy, like I said. Uh, that doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, know, white, it, it's a white sport one. We it, need to have one. It kind of bothers me, bro. <laughs> Inclusion, man. Listen, we need to have one white sport, and it has to be the one that we can predict the ending. Because we're, it's not going to happen athletically. <laughs> yeah, athletically. <laughs> you guys take have, over y- everything. Y'all have, y'all have such much power of like letting us lose. <laughs> if you really told... If you uh, really let us wrestle, we'll whoop we all ass. <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> I'm saying athletics. You guys fucking dominate. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Let us have the, the, the theatrics. <laughs> we'll never it be. A, listen, first off, there'll never be a black Undertaker. There'll never be a black Stone Cold. There'll never be a black Rock. <laughs> God damn, you threw me off with that one. <laughs> oh fuck. I'm just saying, black people need to. Come up, come up a few generations before the creativity. Who's the best tag in. team right now? Who? Who's the best tag team right now? Uh, RK bro. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, the Judgment Day, and that's not racist. There's a mulata in that group. The Puerto Rican <laughs> fucking <laughs> Dominican what in that group. What the fuck is he talking about, <laughs> Damian Priest? <laughs> Uh, the Usos, right? Yeah. Oh, Who, you're right. Yeah. Who's before them? Oh, New Day. Oh, you're claiming oh, yeah. them now. Yeah. You're claiming them now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they come off more black than their cousins. Good point. Good point. They come off more black than the Street Profits, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Um, they got a bigger record than the Street Profits. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest tag team of all time. Yeah. I'm just Usos. saying. They go up there. They go up there. Yeah, this CM Punk thing, though, uh, that was sickening. Holy fuck. Yeah, that's something that's disgusting. Yeah. Um, Our chat room is just, they, they hate him. Of course. They hate him. Let's, I mean, I'm not going to take away from his career. He fucking had the career, but Uh-oh. he just turned into, a, yeah, I don't know what he's turned into. A pile of mush. Ugh, he's just a lame. Carcass of a man. <laughs> I don't even want to, I don't even want to attribute that to age. I think it's like insecurity. That that right there was plain out bitch emotion. Yeah, yeah. He retired. Oh, not for one day. He really retired. Oh. Right, right. <laughs> it's like, how dare you guys treat women like that? And then he's like, yeah, these poor, you didn't treat these me poor like that. fucking women. He compared himself with women. He said, "Yeah, how come you treat them like that? And how come you treat me like that?" But you don't treat Brock like that. You, okay, so you're comparing yourself how they treat women. You, so you're a fucking bitch too. Right. Oh, wow. So you're, But you're they say, had fucking titles. So CM Punk is admitting left. he wants to be treated like a diva. Yes. CM Punk is a, is a WWE, uh, WWE diva. WWE diva. Holy fuck. That's a, good, that's a good one. He's a diva. Yeah. That might be the word that I was looking for. This is diva shit. Prom, prima donna type shit. Right, right. It's like if he would just humble himself and accept what it was, like, and, and just move on with his life and his career. This obviously shows he's he's still holding on to that. Yeah. After all this time, why didn't he just go back to WWE then? Couldn't. Imagine the promos he could be cutting Too much right slander. now. He could have worked it out. He wasn't he, getting the bus, bro. He could have worked it out with Vince. No, nah. I think so. No. Nah. With Vince, not no. with Triple H. No. Now it's over. <laughs> <laughs> now he's that because uh, Triple H doesn't like him, and Stephanie, I think, hates him. People were saying they're also the uh, Meltzer was saying because you know Triple H is a petty Betty. His quotes, not mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that there's going to be a lot like non returns. It's going to be too. all new, yeah. new shit. Because he has a lot of grudges with a lot of wrestlers. And Tony Khan also said, you think just because you, you got a change of <laughs> talents, um, people are going to break their five-year contract with me? <laughs> Suck my dick, WWE. <laughs> That's pretty much what he said. Tony's being a little bitch, too, though. 
<laughs> he should just be a humble guy and just he starts telling everybody that's oh he's in his third year of his fifth so he can't leave and right this person's and it's like shut the fuck up but here's the thing too this is what i don't like about those guys is that if if the narrative was vince is a good guy they'd all be on that side they wouldn't actually be holding that. Well, Tony Khan. I don't know about Punk because he has personal. But Tony Khan would be giving a, hey, Vince, great, great career. You know what I mean? If it, Vince was that, like, being protected right now. How Vince, let me tell you how Vin, um, Tony announced WWE. He said, um, mm. even if you change a recent change of your talent and relations to one of my competitors wouldn't influence he's not a competitor influence the <laughs> contracts my five year contracts of my wrestlers yes I think it could <laughs> I think it absolutely could you idiot <laughs> he's like he's yeah he's WWE is his competition that's what he said yeah it's his competition <laughs> I mean their numbers is right behind them I don't on know views about that. Week? Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah, their views are still up there. I hear AEW's dwindling in the views. Mm, I, heard not... their num- I heard they're they're always steadily with SmackDown's numbers, not Raw's. Maybe, maybe SmackDown Friday night. That's a hard night. Yeah. People are doing shit. Weekend. Yeah. Especially nowadays, you just catch replays. So. Yeah, everything is replay. True, true. Since you could stream and it on Hulu and shit. Wednesday, I believe, is a better night for TV, too. Because it's like middle of the week. People are home. They got work in the morning. Right. That shit. So, yeah. I mean, I, I don't think his numbers, though, are near WWE. Like, worldwide. AEW's not. You got to think, WWE's global. Yeah. WWE's think, on, like, I seven th- continents. He's, 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 he's still on a little scale, but he's, he's winning the little battles. WWE could go to Indonesia right now and sell out a fucking giant AEW hut. AEW can, can negotiate a pay-per-view with Indonesia and they could intermerge and do one. Yeah, but w- will WWE will show up and bring certain people and they'll go, that is Roman Reigns. AEW will show up. They'll be like, who's, who's these This people? is Chris Jericho. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. <laughs> what? He's the Ayatollah of Rock and Roll. <laughs> There's Daniel Bryanson. Get the fuck out of here. What? John Moxley. Those people are international. You are a god over here. They're international places. They're not international. If they Bri- wrestle in Japan, they're international, bro. Brian might be because of the Yes movement. Because that shit actually blew up. That boy was like a red dragon ninja <laughs> in Japan. You're Japan. talking Japan. That's they international, could, bro. They could show up in Japan. They're, that's international, bro. Yeah, but WWE does, like, fucking sell-out arena shows in Africa. You know what I mean? Like, AEW's not touching that. Not near. They got Christian Cage. (laughs) (laughs) Can't be Captain Charisma, man. Just send him over to Africa. Yeah, man. (laughs) You got it. Oh, shit. Um, That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, all right. They got William Regal, bro. They got the UK on Smash. You know what? I can't even argue with William Regal. That guy's a goddamn international superstar. He should be. They got the big show. Everybody knows the big show. Well, you just you just have to have him come out of the plane, and it's a news story, especially in Asia. Hey. <laughs> They're all like four foot three over there. You just send uh, Damian Priest over there, and it's a wrap. <laughs> He's a giant. I'm just saying. Baron Corbin. I'm just saying, they're not the big show. That's AEW. Uh, I don't know. They well, got good old JR. He got all the connects. J- they do mm-hmm. have JR. That's old school, though. He got the connects, still, that's, baby. That's territory. None, none of his connects have any power anymore, though. Did they do? What the hell? No, they don't. Bro, Vince just retired. <laughs> that was his last connect. <laughs> that, was his last con- that was his first connect. JR JR saw that and went, well, I guess I'll stay here. <laughs> well, my time here is done. I guess that's it. <laughs> he renewed 